Hey, so anyway, uh, so anyway, it's Michael Lipinski again from uh, Bayonne, New Jersey. I, I just wanted to uh, bring something to your attention. I I'm trying to, you know, to be a, d a regular dad to my kids, but, you know, I mean, thrust into one homeless shelter after the other, working with the most realms of local three. So I get the soda program grant. I'm able to go over at 78 Andrew, uh, Andrew Street, Andrew Street, in Bayonne, New Jersey. Anyway, so I'm over there, and I got this grant for a year, trying to get my life back together and get my shit together. And my kid's working, and you know, there's been a lot of crazy stuff going around with the, with the environment and this and that. And, but for some kind of forsaken reason, the cops keep trying to lock me up. And they came to the door again today. They said they got a complaint from a girl or a woman across the hall. No, no, no. Maniello said they got a complaint from a woman across the hall, is what he said. It was four cops. So now, listen, I'm not, I, I'm just trying to recover from 9-11, you know? And, and, and I go through some of the things that I find, and I say to myself, well, what, why is it that for some particular reason, Something doesn't want me to stay here and be around my kids, you know, help my family, and, you know, keep them, you know, from getting uh, you know, caught up in all the, you know, the maliciousness. But, I, but I'm, you know, I, I just, it, it perplexes my mind to see that, uh, you know, they keep showing up at my door, and I'm, I'm not asking for it. I'm not in the mood to start giving my hand out for them to uh, throw cuffs on and throw me in a mental institution and have my kids think that that's where I should be. Because I'm well within my faculties. I'm not 100% sure everyone else is. So you could, if you want, keep making those vain attempts, but at some point I would think that justice is going to have to prevail. Uh, you know, this just can't continue on in this manner. I haven't even been here for a year. And I was given a grant by the New York City Housing Authority uh, through the SODA program. And uh, again, it, for some reason, it, it's using battering rams, it's, it's throwing every, uh, every trick in the book at me. Today was four police officers. How many is it going to be tomorrow? You know, Jesus, Lord, Mary already. And, and, and some of the folks that I've seen come in and out of my children's lives are, are walking the streets today without even being in handcuffs, and, and I know uh, by the letter of the law that they should be. But I, I guess, I guess maybe I'm the one that doesn't see the criminals go to jail. I guess they get a free fucking pass. You know, they get a free pass, and only the ones that can sniff out the the maliciousness and the possible cover-up and have maybe rattled someone's cage the wrong way gets the axe. Again, I'm not interested in causing any trouble. When it comes to defending my kids' lives and my dad and my sisters and all that, I've got to stand up for myself. I can't have some, some corrupt organization trying to kill off the firstborn of every family, you know, first son or something. It seems a bit uh, cruel. It seems cruel. I don't bring this up because um, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? There's supposed to be this thing in, in the United States government called the... Um, oh, it, it evades me. Uh, it evades me. Uh, health ethics... Ethics Committee, the House Ethics Committee. I just waited to say it. I, I didn't want to say it. I waited a few seconds to say it. And didn't it make me slur? The House Ethics Committee. And this is about ethics, right? Oh no. Is that just applied to everyone else but me? <laughs>